So here I am again, just you and me, and uh, a couple of cages, yeah. <laughs> I thought I would add, you're very wobbly, aren't you? You're very wobbly, I'm gonna put you there. Oh, I'm in the way there, there we are, I'm gonna put you there. I'm gonna, uh, I was asked, carry on Reggie, we like those videos. So here we are, you're gonna get them. Let's, uh, let's make it, will you expand a little bit? No, anyway, don't worry. So I was watching uh, trekking.com last night on the old YouTube, uh, his comment on, on what they've decided to do, what they've decided to do about this trucker shortage, driver shortage. <laughs> it's, uh, let the industry make us work even more hours. Oh my God. What, do you know, it's like going to the doctor and saying you've got a pain in the testicle in the right testicle and he it tickle yeah and he goes and he goes and he kicks you right in the in the other one in the left hand one and he'll say well the pain out the right hand one isn't as bad as the one on the left hand one so that'll be better what a, the way out of it is <laughs> it's, it's laughable it's, it's so so annoying so annoying for them to even dare to think about such a thing. So I'm going to add to the uh, conversation and uh, add to the... Now, I'm not going to ask you to believe what I'm telling you uh, or to, to think the way I'm thinking. All I'm going to do is I'm going to point out things for you to look at, for you to see with your own eyes and for you to hear with your own ears... Uh, and for you to make your own mind up so uh, then you can if I point these few things out and if you want to you can investigate them if, if you're a trucker you'll know exactly what I'm on about if you're not a trucker but you're interested because that's why you're watching this um, so let's if you if you get deliveries or you've seen drivers whatever the average age of the trucker now is about give or take you know everything i say is give a bit and take a bit or sometimes you give a lot and give take a lot but it's about 55 to 60 we're we're getting i'm 63 by the way um the the, the average age is getting uh to the time where we don't want to do so much i mean we've the for all our working life for all our truck working life as a general rule we've all been doing uh 50 60 sometimes more hours a week so we've hammered them in but we've got paid so because we've been uh not at the very bottom of the pay scale near the bottom but not the very bottom uh and we've been poorly paid but we've made it up by doing the hours we've had spare income we've had the income to be able to buy our houses now the numbers don't add up because it's crazy what we paid what we were paying for and what what we paid for our houses then but now we're coming to this age well now we're coming to getting to 50 or 55 or 60 we, we we're we're not going to take on another mortgage we, all our houses that all of us that have paid our houses our mortgages and and it's uh it, it, it's out the way you know there'll be a great majority of us have done that worked hard and bought houses now they're coming to the end of their life so they paid it took me 35 years because i had a house for 10 years and then we moved and we started again and the house i'm in now had a 25 year mortgage and we've just paid it off recently so add to that the fact that the age we are generally speaking our parents are beginning to pass on things are, are passing away sadly and there are inheritances coming into the kitty so this generation our my generation now are beginning to get inheritances in the kitty so we're not we're not poor people we don't need to be working as hard as we do and I think that has a lot to it. The the generation, the, the, the generation of working that have done the work and have had enough now, and now we don't need to do it and we don't need the money. And the youngsters aren't behind us. They, they, they need to find a way 
of getting bringing on the youngsters bringing on apprenticeships getting the the those people now we're not unintelligent you know and we're not unconfident because you know to drive a truck all over the country to go to places to park in the middle of the night in a lay-by park in the middle of the night in a deserted industrial estate you know you need some confidence and you need to be quite intelligent to find some of these addresses and find your way around the country so we're, we're what, what i'm saying is we've worked hard we've done well with our money we walk away i am in the union of the boot the, the the union i am is in the union of the boot if i don't like it i walk away and then and what i'm trying to explain is the nature of drivers ah uh, if 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 they're not getting what they want or they're not happy with what's happening they walk off whether i'm driving this vehicle doing this job or that vehicle doing that job there's no difference only the money and maybe the conditions of the firm or closer or further away so it's this generation of drivers have done their hard work and now it's time to take it easy and they've joined the union of the boot and they've walked off and they're going something else they're doing they're getting better conditions they're getting better hours uh, maybe places they're getting better money some other places they're doing less money but they can afford to do less money because they've, they've all got their houses bought and they've got what they've got and they've got their nice cars and all that's done. So the, the, the government need to recognise what's going on, not just make us work harder because we don't want to, we're not going to. We're not going to work harder. We've worked hard all our working lives or all, all our trucking lives uh, and it's time to, you know, enjoy life now just to, you know... Um, survive mm. so I'm in survival mode now my work is I, I'm not going to buy another house well I've seen the price of them uh, I've already got a half decent car so all I have to do is keep up with it it's not a case that I have to buy one do the whole work of buying one from scratch and build my way up again so what that's what they need to do they need to bring new blood into the business by not baffling them with the all the twaddle they get told it's it's you're frightened if you now go and investigate for yourself ask ask the drivers when you see one how many hours have you done or how many hours do you work a week roughly uh, and i've always worked that a week uh, go and ask them sort of look at them with your own eyes they're all old you know some of the drivers are really old and i would say in the in the in the driving side of things i'm in the middle that are a lot older than me. Um, there's a few younger, but there's youngsters. There's no youngsters coming through at all. We need to get the money-hungry youngsters that want to get in this job. They want to earn. Uh, they want to work hard. They want to earn more than the basic wage uh, and earn a good a good living for for who we are and make progress in life. Mm. So that's my my second uh, little video. <laughs> And I hope you all enjoy yourself and stay safe, yes, and keep away from us. Whenever we're manoeuvring, whenever we're turning, the only way you're going to stop a truck from running you over is don't get in its way. Just leave us alone. We're a big, heavy vehicle. We're just trying to get from one place to another, minding our own business. So please, just keep away from us and let us and carry on your way. Mm. <laughs> bye all, bye.